As human beings walking this earth, there are certain basic movement patterns that we all need to have some familiarity with, if not mastery of. Those patterns are the squat, the hinge, the lunge, the push, the pull, the anti-rotate, and the carry. Pulling from the essential seven, this is how we do the squat. So another primary pattern, the squat. Similar to the deadlift, it uses a lot of hips and a lot of knees, but we've got maximum bend of the hips, maximum bend of the knees. The back stays relatively unchanged. So if we're sitting into it, hips go below the line of the knees and then drive up, glutes tight at the top. So it's important to think back stays unchanged. We want to avoid this sort of stuff at the bottom where we're no longer moving the hips. Loading it, the goblet squat. Snapping up to the top of the chest, supporting under the horns of the handle. Elbows pack in tight, knees pull toward the pinky toes on the way down without rolling the feet, and drive it up. A more advanced version of loading, the double front squat. Back swing, clean, loading up to the top of the chest. Again, let's look at the back on the way down. Shoulders are packed, knees pull open, back stays relatively unchanged, and up, park. A final, much more exciting version of the squat, the pistol squat. Standing tall, one leg forward. The back is gonna change here, but we're not loading this, so deep into that squat, and driving up. <laughs> 